Hey, it's Trey with Daddy Mojo. Let's take a look at some of the brand new all-age comics for the week of February 8th, 2017. And there are some good ones, including two of our favorites. Come see why they're great. So once again, we have a complete list of the best all-age comic books for the week over at the site daddymojo.net. Cruise over there, take a look at the complete list. We're highlighting seven or nine of the better comics this week that you're going to want to check out because they flew under radar or because they are that excellent. One of the really excellent comic books this week for any age is this one. It's Justice League Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is a team-up that really exceeds beyond your expectations. It blows them away. It's a joint publication from DC Comics and Boom Studios. And the rating on this comic is T+, if you look at the comic book. However, this is a miniseries. Issue 2 of 6 is out this week. It is phenomenal for ages 8 and up. And why is it so phenomenal? It's this. Because the art is great. The story is great. It respects the young readers. It doesn't dumb down the action. It doesn't soften the edges of the, the superheroes. It's a realistically drawn comic book, but not as real as the Superman or the Batman from DC Comics that truly merits a teen rating. This is a great action superhero comic book. It's $3.99. It's a miniseries. Jump in and you will not regret it. It's fabulous stuff. Now, Steven Universe is a cartoon that a lot of people love. And this week marks the first issue of its ongoing series from Kaboom. And what is neat is they've been doing mini series of Steven Universe for a while, but this is first off, hey, ongoing series. Congratulations, Steven. He's a kind, gentle young man with lots of strange things happening around him. And if you like the cartoon, you're really going to dig this comic book. And it's one of the better ones for all ages. It is Steven Universe. And issue number one of the brand new ongoing series is out this week. Jonesy, issue number 10 comes out. And what is this comic? It's, it's, it's a little hard to grasp because it's, it's geared towards the tween audience. So if you're just looking at it, you, you're not really sure what to think about it. There are lots of ferrets. There's some tween angst. Jonesy is funny. She's got some mystical powers. And it, tick, it, it took me, it's, it's still taking me a while to learn to really love the comic. It's almost like Lumberjanes Light. And I hate to qualify everything that I can't describe as Lumberjanes-esque. But it's like this. It's it's verging on the same quality, the same demographic that Lumberjanes is trying to hit. Except it doesn't really hit it for me. However, if you're a, I'm going to say a girl, between say 8 and up, Jonesy is going to be for you because it's, it's a little weird. It's tween angst. And it's fun and relatable. A series that has really grown over the years is this one, Hero Cats. Issue number 15 is out this week from Action Lab Entertainment. And when this series first came out, it was just about cats being domestic in the neighborhood. Mm, it had its niche, and it was a little slow at first. However, with issue 15, boom, they have really find their, they've, they've found their mojo. And the cats are in space, there's action, and it exceeds beyond just those people that love cats. I'm a cat lover. Yeah, guilty as charged. But this one, it's going to hook in all age readers beyond the cat realm because there's enough action and intrigue and other human players as well as the feline sort to make this a fun series i promise it is check it out a classic series is this one scooby-doo where are you this comes out monthly from dc comics love this comic for many reasons a it's only 2.99 and b our son who is seven years old he loves reading this series and it's really great harmless always steady stuff it really is. There are two DC titles uh, for Scooby-Doo. One is uh, Scooby-Doo Team Up, and this one is Scooby-Doo Where Are You? They both have the same excellent price point, and at the end of every issue, there's this. They highlight all of the all-age comics from the DC kids out there, and there are five every month that are marketed just at the all-age audience, and there's also a little activity at the end of it. In uh, this one, you can learn to draw Harley Quinn and Catwoman. It's pretty neat. It is. And at only $2.99, you really can't beat it with a stick. One of the comics that our, we did not like this at first. Our son loved it, so we kind of have to. We don't have to. He can buy it with his own money, but this one really appealed to us. This is Pink Panther Cartoon Hour Special Number 1. And this has all of the classic Pink Panther characters from his back-in-the-day cartoon series. Um... This is better than the, the monthly comic. 
I gotta I gotta give it to him on this. Just because the art is a little better, there aren't as many reprints, which is one of the annoying things. Like, check out this panel here. You see how it's much more different than the other panels? I mean, Pink Panther's talking. It's obviously, it's got a very 60s, early 70s vibe to it. It's so different from the new art that I find it distracting. However, this issue, it's so much bigger. It, I mean, it's priced at $4.99, so you get what you pay for. There's a lot of art in this, and there's only one old story. So Pink Panther, folks, if you like this, jump in. And Pink Panther at American Mythology, more new stories. Less old stories. Thank you very much. Our favorite comic of the week, though, is this one. Actually, favorite. It's, it's, it's a tie between this one and Justice League Team Up with uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's this one. The uh, Storyteller Giants from Jim Henson's. I love this series. Who is this going to appeal to? This is going to appeal to to kids who can read, I'll say ages 9 and up, that like Middle Earth fable-type stuff. This is a collection of... Each, each issue in the Storyteller Giants is a different giant fable that's culled from somewhere on the planet, different cultures, and the art is what makes this comic such a slam dunk. It's so beautiful, each issue. Even this is issue number three of four. Issues one and two are fabulous. Issue three is no exception. It's painted art, and you can tell the quality from the get-go. It's awesome. It's not going to appeal to really young readers, like ages six and seven won't dig this because there's too much reading, and it's more of a painted art scene. However, ages nine and up, if you like fables, jump in. 11 and up, if you want to check out something artsy and just slightly more, eh, just slightly different than your than the comics that you're used to buying, check this out because it's awesome and it's from Archaea. It's Jim Henson's The Storyteller Giants. Again, for all of the all-age comics, please check out daddymojo.net and find that post.